In this video, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of living in the Minneapolis area. I grew up here, I've lived here most of my life. So today I'm gonna to go over some of the things that I love, and some of the things I could totally do without. Stay tuned, you're bound to learn something. If you like burgers, you're gonna to wanna to stick around till the end of the video to learn where the best burgers in the Minneapolis area are. Every year we help hundreds of families buy homes in the Twin Cities area. We hold we help many people sell their home in the Minneapolis area. We help people re relocate to and relocate from. So if that's you and maybe you're thinking about moving in or moving out, we'd love to hear from you. Shoot us a call, a text, an email. Our information's below. The first pro, one of the things I love about Minneapolis area and all of Minnesota really is all the things that there are to do here. We have all the major sports teams. We have a thriving uh, downtown area with surrounding areas and smaller downtowns all over. The area is full of great parks and lakes and there's even short stay mini vacations kind of that you could call them where you go to the North Shore, you can go to Duluth. There's incredible hiking and trails and scenery and wildlife. Uh, that you know uh, the state is really well known for. One of the best places to go visit along the northern part of Minnesota, right on the Minnesota-Canada border, is the Boundary Waters. It has incredibly smooth lakes that look like glass and you can see down to the bottom. Amazing place to go camping, canoeing, hiking, and just to see what the great outdoors of Minnesota looks like. On the flip side of things, Minneapolis because it has so many great things to offer, also has a lot of people, so there's traffic. Sometimes we joke that there's two seasons in Minnesota. There's winter season and there's construction season. Since it's very, very cold outside for a lot of the year, uh, most of the road construction, if not all, happens when it's warmer outside, when we like to be outside. So we do have road closures and construction going on during some of the best months of the year. A lot of the roads are being redone currently to handle the influx of people that are in the area. So we're hoping that the traffic can decrease sometime in the future. The freeway system is set up very, very well in the Twin Cities. And so when you live here, you learn how to move about from city to city and area to area um, without too much headache, uh, just by knowing the roadways and which freeways to take in certain situations. The second thing I love about Minneapolis is that there are incredible places to eat. So whether you are actually in the proper city of Minneapolis or in one of the surrounding suburbs, there's always great options for you to go out and get a good bite. Not unique to Minneapolis, but a great restaurant that we love in the area and, and one that we like to visit when we go to 100 transactions each year is Fogo de Chao in downtown Minneapolis. Other places we love are uh, at the West End where our office is, there's a yard house and many other great options. And as you move further out to where we are now, we have Coalition in Excelsior, Red Sauce Rebellion, um, wyzetta has got a ton of fantastic restaurants in its downtown area. Like I mentioned, you don't have to be in downtown Minneapolis to get the best food. You can go out to other suburbs, smaller downtowns. There's boutique restaurants that offer fantastic cuisine pretty much everywhere. Not to mention, there's an incredible microbrewery scene in the area. Hundreds of microbreweries spitting out some incredible beer. On the flip side of that, restaurants here, especially the mom and pop shops that are a little bit smaller business type, can get kind of expensive. You know, you can expect to pay a few hundred dollars to go out to eat with your family potentially, but this is how these small businesses thrive in the Twin Cities and how they afford to live in the areas that they live in. So if you're looking for something super authentic, you might pay a little bit more, but we think it's worth it. The third pro is how beautiful Minnesota really is. And it may just look like a regular metropolis area when you're within the cities and you know the second, third rig suburbs. But as you get outside of that, the, the views can become breathtaking. As you may know, we are referred to as the land of over 10,000 lakes. We also have 90,000 miles of shoreline, plenty of water to, to go around for fishing, skiing, maybe a little bit of hockey in the winter. A couple of other things that we love to take in throughout the year in the Minneapolis area is you know we may have multiple seasons and it gets really really cold in the winter but because of that we actually do have four true seasons so just seeing the fresh snowfall for the first time every winter is absolutely breathtaking but what's just as awesome is seeing the leaves change color in the fall uh, and how the weather changes throughout those times as well we absolutely love taking in these views and the and the skyline at night 
It's pretty incredible. Like I mentioned, we do have Four Seasons here in Minnesota, but that's not always a plus for everybody. So my third con is, you know, the summers can get pretty hot and muggy. For people who have been here our whole lives, we kind of look forward to that time because it feels nice. But some people, it's not really the best thing for them. The humidity is pretty high and the, and the temperatures can get, get pretty scorching. And then of course, in the winters, as you've heard, we can get temperatures below zero, uh, many, many, many inches of snow and snowstorms that make it hard to travel. Um, so the weather can be a deterrent for a lot of people. So I talked about summer and winter, which are pretty predictable. Spring and fall, anybody's guess, really. It could be 30 degrees in April, it could be 90 degrees in April. September could be crisp and 75, it could be freezing, it could be 100 degrees. Kind of a coin flip during those times of year, but usually you get some of those just perfect days each spring and each fall. So if you like the weather to be the same all year, you know, San Diego, Los Angeles, these kind of kinds of areas, Minnesota might not be the best place, but if you like mother nature keeping you on your toes, then we might be a perfect fit. The fourth pro is education. The educational infrastructure in Minnesota is absolutely incredible. We consistently rank high on things like ACT scores and activity scores. We even have over 200 colleges and public universities in the area. I liked it so much that I went to a school right down the road, Go Gophers, Sky Ma. The Twin Cities are frequently ranked as one of the most literate states in the country. So we've talked about a lot of the great things that the Minneapolis area and Minnesota have to offer. But the fourth con is that with all these great things, a lot of people have wanted to move to the area. So being in real estate, we've realized home prices have been going up. In fact, they've risen about 4.4% even in the past year alone. Certain areas, like those in the most desired neighborhoods, um, areas of town and most desired school districts have some of the highest prices, but you can find even in the Minneapolis proper area, affordable homes, uh, you know, if you're looking in the right places, I think. And, and also if you go a little bit further out, you get out to that third tier of suburbs, you start to see that pricing go down a little bit where the affordability gets a lot better. And those areas are growing like crazy right now. Uh, just because land is a finite thing and there's more of it as you get further away from the downtown area. The fifth pro is we have a fantastic culture. So much diversity, so many immigrants that have moved into the area, which is a big reason why we love the area. You know, there isn't one kind of style of person that you would think when you think Minnesota. There's people from all walks of life, from all areas of the world, and, and it's part of the reason why, you know, we really love being a part of uh, this diverse population of people. Even Minnesota nice doesn't necessarily apply to everybody. The fifth con, a lot of people say, oh, you're from Minnesota. You guys are all the same, so nice and friendly, and you fish for fun. Well, it's not necessarily true, you know? A lot of us are very, very nice, and a lot of us do like to fish for fun. Not really me, but there are people out there that do that. People in Minnesota are not all the same, and we are not one kind of specific person that would, you know, that you would know of when you think of Minnesota. And you might think that from being outside the area, but once you live here, you realize how many different people we have in our area. I got a couple of things that'll split the pros and cons right down the middle. First one, wildlife. When you're in the cities, you don't always see that much of it, except for some of the squirrels. They're very, very friendly and they will get close to you. But as you get a little bit further out, you start to see things like deer and um, more uh, species of birds and things like this. So there are things out there, but the con of having all those things out there is you get squirrels in your attic, you get mice trying to get into your basement. So they're fun sometimes, but not all the time. The other one, which we talked about a little bit earlier, there are a lot of things to do, like watch our favorite sports teams. But this one is definitely a pro and a con, because if you know Minnesota, you know that the sports teams will just keep you hanging on just long enough. They're not gonna miss the playoffs usually, they're usually gonna be right around making the playoffs, and then they are just going to break your heart at the last possible second. So if you wanna be a Minnesota sports fan, you better be prepared for a lot of cheering early on and a lot of heartbreak to end your season. I told you I'd tell you where the best burgers are in the Twin Cities area. Well, I've got two. One in the West Metro, Lion's Tap. Fantastic burgers, fries, great atmosphere. The other one is what I think is the real home of the Juicy Lucy, Matt's Bar, Southeast Minneapolis. Absolutely fantastic, cash only. So bring your, uh, bring your dollar bills. Like I said, my name is AJ Pedersen and I'm a local real estate agent in the Twin Cities area. 
I run a team of highly professional and fantastic real estate agents. And we work in, in the Twin Cities and surrounding areas as experts in the home buying and home selling process. So if you, somebody you know, um, somebody you know who knows someone is looking to buy or sell or invest in real estate in the Twin Cities area, give us a call. We'd love to be a resource for you for anything related to your real estate needs. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below what you thought. Maybe you agree with some stuff, maybe you didn't, but we'd love to hear from you and interact with you. We'd also love it if you subscribe to our page, like our content. Uh, we're trying to do our best to get out fantastic content about the Minneapolis area, so we'd love to hear from you.